One of the great things about cylindrical grinding is you can really play around with your parameters and affect the behavior of your grinding operation without affecting cycle time or other things. And one of the ways you can do that is by changing your work RPM. In plunge OD cylindrical grinding, you've got two factors. You have how fast the wheel plunges in the workpiece, or vice versa, depending on the machine, usually measured in millimeters per minute or inches per minute. And then you have the workpiece RPM. Okay. Let's assume we've got a constant plunge speed, and we change that workpiece RPM. It's not going to affect the cycle time whatsoever, but it can greatly affect the grinding parameters. Let's take two situations. Let's say we have a slow RPM or a fast RPM. We plunge at the same speed. What we have is when we grind at a slow RPM, our truly effective depth of cut is much higher. When we have a fast workpiece RPM, our effective depth of cut is much slower. So in a sense, it's kind of like plunge surface grinding. You can either grind fast and shallow, or you can grind slow and deep. And those are two very different situations. Why are these situations so different? It really has to do with the arc of cut. If you grind slow and deep, or you have a slow work, or work RPM, your arc length is going to be very long, so your forces are distributed over a larger area. If you grind with a very fast RPM, you have a very short arc length. So your forces are distributed over a smaller area. So here are the general trends, whether you're grinding with a fast work RPM or a slow work RPM. If you're grinding with a slow RPM, you're effectively taking a slow deep cut. That'll give you less wheel wear, but it'll also give you less wheel self-sharpening. So be careful about doling. And it might give you more burn, because in a sense, grinding with a faster work RPM carries the heat away, and also if you have less wheel wear, you have a chance of getting more doling of the wheel and more burn that way. If you go with a fast RPM, which is effectively a fast shallow cut, you'll get more wheel wear, which might be good, because wheel wear can be a good thing for creating a self-sharpening wheel. And you'll possibly get less burn, because you're taking away the heat more quickly and you tend to have a sharper wheel. So you can play around with these parameters and really get the results you want. And my experience on cylindrical OD plunge grinding operations is you can keep everything else constant, look at what your biggest issue is, and adjust your work RPM accordingly. If you've got burn, well, let's increase that workpiece RPM. If my wheel wear is too high, well, let's slow down that workpiece RPM. Whatever it is, just that little adjustment can work wonders in terms of improving your grinding operations.